It's a storm, folks! What a way to begin the video, huh, guys? I was just innocently on my way to Hormuz to pick up some pimento for Trader in Hamburg, and look what happens! Don't worry, I should be just fine. Full strength uh, heavy galleons and stuck to the brim of crew, I should be just fine, but this is what a storm looks like anyway. And it's done. In a, in a storm, you cannot control your fleet. At all. Alright, let's see how much damage I sustained. Eh. Hmm, the Nogus the Nogus wasn't touched wasn't touched. Eh, it looks like uh very min minimal damage. So yeah. Okay guys, um I need to sail around um I need to sail around Africa to reach Hormuz, so once I get to around the Makai area, I will, I will resume the video and I'll show you guys how to get to Hormuz to pick up some pimento. So, I'll be back. Oh boy, we got an idiot that wants to make a name for himself, folks. Oh well, I suppose we should oblige him. Yeah, three guesses to what happens here, folks. Go ahead, guess. Now come on, folks, what did you think would happen? If you're expecting anything different, I'm very disappointed. Is that all you got to say now, asshole? Good. Burn in hell, bitch. I'm the man here. And I get 10,000 gold and a fucking candlestick. Fantastic. Okay, guys, I'm going to transfer my spoils here. Uh, no cargo, unfortunately, but that's okay. Alright, folks, so I'll be back. And um, when we hit um, the, Mac the Macaw area, we'll be uh, we'll, we'll proceed to remove. So, I'll be right back. Okay, folks, welcome back. Now we're at the entrance to the sea where Macaw is, but um, now we're going to proceed straight north because this is dire the direction where Hormuz is at. Where we shall, where we shall acquire our our nice, our nice tasty pimento. As I understand it, I believe pimento is a type of old type of basically allspice. Like if you ever had allspice chips, I think pimento is basically. Um, it's basically what goes on to that. And that would be Muscat right there. So Hormuz should be just down the line. And unfortunately, we're drifting, we were drifting a little bit there, but we seem to be okay now. There we go. And there we go, that should be Hormuz right there. Okay, so we'll drop in. Excellent, everybody's ceiling skill went up a level. Okay, this doesn't look like a particularly wealthy port. No guild, you see. Oh, okay. Looks like we got ourselves a, a Turk. Or somebody that looks like a Turk anyway. See? I was right. But now we're going to actually, um... Got to start getting crew here. Get everybody back out to snuff. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna just give everybody 80 crew enough to be able to defend ourselves at sea if we happen to get attacked. But um, light enough that we can actually make um, make our food last well last long enough to get us get our ass back to Europe. And. 
80 men for you. And the Brian will have 80 men, and we're good. Okay, folks, so I'm just going to uh, do some buying and selling. But I'll, I will show you that the Pimento is actually here. Oh, and, and the month has changed. It is now August. Right in the middle of summertime. Whoa! The Robert nearly ran out of food. Whoa, that was close. When a ship runs out of food, the crew condition starts to deteriorate, and you start. And when it deteriorates far enough, you start losing men every day. So you really don't want to run out of food and water, especially if you're like out, out of the open sea. Anyway. See? Like I promised. Right there. Pimento. So, I'm going to sell off some of the firearms I bought back in, um, in Lisbon. And I'm going to repair my ships and, um, do some buying and selling and I'll see... And I'll probably see you guys back in Europe. Okay, folks, uh, we're back, and I might as well finish off this video by um, showing you my next mission for the king, which is to—it's the simplest thing he can ask you to do, which is to deliver a letter to the king of Spain. So I figure I might as well show you uh, show you guys that. Yeah, this will be for my fifth title uh, of Baron, I believe. Which I'm glad for, to be honest, because quite frankly, Baronet sounds, you know, like a girl. Who is that beside me? Oh, okay, friendly forces. Come on, see already. Holy crap! A lot of activity in this part, but I'm not gonna bother with any of that. Man, we're going awful slow here. Then I, but I have decided to keep my battle navigators on board to try to get their sailing levels up. So hopefully, I won't ever have to change, go through all that. Um, long process of changing everybody back to their changing sailing and bow navigators it's just plain tedious and well it's boring if I can make it so that I don't have to do that then that would be great but it's probably not the smartest thing to put a level 7 sailor on a heavy galleon generally the recommended level for heavy galleon sailors is level 10 at least all right, so we'll stop in Seville. And we've de delivered a letter to the King of Turkey, so it's only appropriate that we deliver a letter to the King of Spain. And maybe he'll get a three-way. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a minute, well, when I get back to Lisbon. Okay guys, we're back home in Lisbon, and let's step into the castle and complete our mission. Thank you. Now I won't have that girly, sound, girly sounding title of Baronet. Well, I might as well uh, deposit some money. There we go. And meet the princess. To. Well, we'll just stop right back waiting where we came from. There we go, folks. My brand new title. Aren't I special? I'm now a baron. And officially, I'm, I'm now a nobleman of the court. Okay, folks, I'm going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later.